Welcome back to Wicked F-150. <clears throat> uh, today's video is going to be going over and reviewing the Lynxwell screen and kind of explaining what is different and similar with the Phoenix radio. Um, since it took so long to get here um, and I decided I'm not going to tear this back out, put the Phoenix one in to make the video and then put this one back in. I'm going to try to do my best to show you what's the same and what is different between the screens so you have an idea. And don't forget, there is the Phoenix screen for sale. Uh, just contact the Facebook page and we can discuss it there. Uh, it is the 7.1 fast boot, so it doesn't take the 30 seconds to boot up when you start your vehicle. Uh, it takes between 2 to 8 seconds, I believe is what it says on their website. Well, let's go ahead and get into it. So. This is what it looks like. The Lynxwell screen that's in here and the Phoenix screen is the exact same size. Uh, they're 12.1 inches. Now, yeah, it's a radio and a screen for your vehicle, but it's, it's basically just an Android tablet. Um, now, this is where the biggest difference is between Lynxwell and Phoenix, is the home screen. This is the home screen. You just click that to get your home screen. Um, on Phoenix, as you can see in the other video, which I will put in the description below uh, of the Lynxwell uh, screen that I had previously, where it says beware, you know, because of the customer service. But um, I'll link that so you guys can see the screen. Um, but it's split on the Phoenix radio. It has, uh, you can have your radio or whatever up here and uh, your speedometer and all that from the truck on the bottom here. But it doesn't have to be that. You can make it anything. If you're on YouTube and you still want to see your radio down here or your speedometer or whatever, you can do that on the Phoenix screen. Um, <clears throat> that's the biggest difference, in my opinion, of the Lynxwell and Phoenix screens. <clears throat> now on the Phoenix screen you can change your background from the truck that it displays and all of that they they have videos on their YouTube channel uh, for that <clears throat> sorry I keep wiping I the dust <laughs> drives me crazy um, but for the links well these are all your main buttons on your home screen but of course you have them all down here which on a Phoenix screen they're at the top and then down here at the bottom would be your climate. Uh, your air conditioning settings are down at the bottom. Now, with a Phoenix screen, you can actually change the theme and all of that with your screen. On the Lynxwell, you cannot. It is just one setting and this is all you got. Um, on a Phoenix screen, like I said, these buttons here are at the top and your climate's down here, but you can get it to look different uh, it could be different colors, it can be different, uh, laid out differently uh, to where it doesn't just look similar because the Phoenix screen has the little drop down bar and all your settings are in there. Uh, with changing the theme, it can change how that looks, which is actually a really nice feature. Um, I didn't know that initially <laughs> because I kind of do like that. But I'm tired of switching screens. Not going to happen, especially just for the theme. But how you do that, uh, let's go ahead and do that setting. Now, this, of course, will be the same on the Phoenix screen, since that's the theme you can actually change. Phoenix to change the theme. Settings. System version. Hold the button. Okay, now Phoenix code is 7890. For Lynx, well, it's 7211. And you'll go to settings and you'll scroll the whole way down to the bottom and it says interface style see mine says black theme cannot change it doesn't I can push it all I want either side doesn't change on Phoenix it does change which is pretty nice I, I do like that feature um, now for upgrades um, if you because both companies are, of course, always updating their software and to give you a better user experience and all of that. It's not hard. You have a USB drive, you plug it into your laptop, 
and you go to their site, you download the update to the USB, you come here, you plug it into your USB port uh, that's into the screen, and you come to the same settings here, your MCU, or the system version, and then you will go here. Well, and there are different types of updates. It will be either AirPane or Plugbox, and it'll tell you which one of these you gotta click to update it. Uh, which I had to do with this one because I bought this one off of eBay. It was all the software was from when Linkswell first put out the Gen 2. So I had to update all four updates that Linkswell had. And of course now it's perfect and all of that. Um, now on the same screen actually with both uh, with a Linkswell you have to click whether it's F-150 high or low. Uh, if you do the old, it just changes your buttons. It makes it look older, and the truck that pops up is an older style F-150. But um, that's it for the settings. Now, one thing with the Linkswell. I haven't looked into it because it, I don't really care that much, but the phone link. Nothing's happening, is it? Yeah, I don't, It's it doesn't work. I could call Linkswell and get a hold of them. That is why I cho chose to stick with a Linkswell screen because every time I have called to speak to them, somebody has answered and I've talked to John, their technical guy, or whoever I needed to speak with at that time, right away. I, I didn't have to wait days to get a response like Phoenix um, so but I don't I'm not gonna use it I'm not that worried about it if I ever it does become an issue in my opinion then I will call them and see what they say but with Phoenix radio including the one that they ended up breaking before they did all tried all their updates and everything and it worked fine it was a great screen I did love it if it if they would have got that to work I would still have the Phoenix screen um, but with their phone link, you have to download an app, which is on their videos on their YouTube page. I can't remember what it's called, but you download this app, you plug in your phone to the USB and it completely mirrors your phone. You can even control your phone from the screen itself. Uh, of course you have uh, Wi-Fi mirroring as well between your phone and the screen, which so does links. Well, like I said, uh, mine just isn't working and I don't know why. Um, if you have any videos saved through a uh, USB, uh, you can click video and it will come up. Of course, radio. This is the radio screen on this, on Linkswell and Phoenix. This is what it looks like. Same amount of uh, stations you can set. Everything about that is the same. No issues with it whatsoever. Um, the one thing I will say, which is another plus for Phoenix actually, is after installing this, the Phoenix system sounds better. Um, any head unit that you swap out, it can make your stock system sound better or it can make it sound worse. And on the Linkswell site, it does say that this has a, I think it's like 45 watt amp or something, or a sub built amp built in. But I don't have a sub or anything, so I mean, the amp really doesn't matter. But I don't know anything about audio whatsoever. <clears throat> I just know how it sounds. And the Phoenix screen did make, it gave the entire stock system a boost. I will give it that. This, I mean, it's, it's slight, slightly better than the Sync 3 system, but I mean, it's still, it's below the, what, how the Phoenix screen sounded. Um, but everything else, you still get Internet Explorer, uh, with links well it's chrome is there a pop-up i don't have the internet hooked up you would see the little wi-fi there i uh, have hotspot through my phone so it's not going to work at the moment because i just i'm doing a video but uh auxiliary if you had a dvd player um dvr anything like that bluetooth of course the phone and it works perfectly click it and that's how you actually listen to uh, your music through your phone you have to go through Bluetooth and click on Bluetooth music same between any screen 
uh, Phoenix or Lynxwell. Like I said, basically everything's the same. The operating system is basically the same. Uh, climate, basically the same. Looks the exact same. Now this is, depending on whether you have F-150 high or low, this will look different, but that's the gist. <clears throat> file manager, it will show you all the files on your tablet period. Of course, you cannot get into all of them because it is, it's a tablet, but it's still a car radio. You know, you, you can't get into everything and start messing with it. Uh, camera, if I had a front or right side camera, it would show it. Back camera, and I do, you can do the exact same thing on uh, Phoenix screen. <clears throat> Let's go back home. Now this will not pop up. It only pops up because I installed this, which we will go over in a minute. But let's go back to the regular screen here. Uh, music, of course, same thing as the video. If you uh, downloaded any music to the tablet or your USB drive itself, then you would click there and use it that way. Um, app list, any apps that you have downloaded or anything like that, as you can see, I've downloaded quite a few. The ones that came on it was this ADAS, Gmail, Google settings, the iGo, which is the uh, navigation. If you choose to purchase the Linkswell's navigation through them, that's the navigation. Uh, Phoenix, of course, uh, I don't think they have their own navigation. They send you an antenna, you plug it into the back, uh, and you can hook it up. Or it plugs into the factory? Not sure. Not sure on that. Uh, I can't remember what that screen was. This one I know has a antenna you plug in and I just mounted it back here on the radio. Uh, or the speaker. <clears throat> Everything else, I, uh, and it comes with Google Maps, of course, already downloaded. Everything else I downloaded, because again, it is an Android tablet. So you can use any app that you want, that you can use on your phone, your tablet at home, you can put it on here. And it'll work. No, no issues whatsoever. YouTube. Offline, of course, because again, no internet. But you can see how big the YouTube screen is when you open it up. That's how big the screen is on this 12.1 when you open up that app while you're in the car. It does play while you're driving. Uh, it's convenient for my daughter when she likes to watch her uh, Toys Unlimited videos uh, on her way home or going to the store or something like that. It makes it convenient to be able to do that. And of course, I'm not interested in it, so I'm not watching it and driving at the same time, which of course I would never recommend anybody do. You're, you need to be concentrating on the road, not your YouTube screen in the middle of the car. Let's go ahead and go home. Now, that's basically the system here, okay? Uh, like I said, it's a tablet. So if you go into settings, you can change your brightness, your time, and all of that lovely stuff. This is something that was actually done on a Phoenix screen and I did it on this one. I'm not sure if that's the difference between them or not, because on the Phoenix screen that I watched do this, they had more preloaded apps. But if you go on this screen, Phoenix or Linkswell, you go to your Play Store and you download Car Web Guru, you get a whole new system here. Now it will not look like, it will not have the background and all of that. It will not have, of course, Wicked F-150 right there. But if you want to type that just because you love the channel so much, please go ahead and feel free to do that. Um, but it gives you these little widgets and the center stack, uh, it just not the background and all of that. But you can customize all of that with this app. You download the app, it goes into the tablet, and this is what you get. You can completely And I don't know, it does this every time. Okay. Those are all the widgets you can change. And on the circle, because you get uh, play and you can change the circle settings the whole way around. Of course, to here, here, and then the whole way around. And you can adjust how they are centered as well. Just hold on to it like so. And I clicked on this one. The lettering is lit up. Click it again, and I can move left, right, up, and down. I can change the font size, all of that. I can put it to the right-hand side if I want. Doesn't matter. You can also delete them, which I have done. Delete. 
because it had another Ford logo up here in the corner, which I just thought looked weird. Um, but it makes it simpler with using a screen, and especially for the Google. That's that's my biggest thing, is the navigation. Now, of course, to use Google Maps on here, you have to have the internet hooked up. But instead of scrolling through here and going to the app list and then finding navigation, I can just have it right there, click it, and it opens right up, no problems. Uh, of course, the time, which is it's obviously not quarter to six in the morning, so I need to change that. But uh, and it does, it is quarter to six in the morning because for whatever reason at noon, it's set in military time and it said 033. So it is set in military time and it's off a.m. p.m. So I got to change that. But uh, the temperature. That works sometimes, and I don't get why it works sometimes and not all the time. But either way, the temperature's up here, and that's the real field temperature. For the Linkswell screen, I'm going to assume, because it's not actually 107. It's only like 102, 101, 102 here today. Um, but it's always higher than what it, the actual temperature is. So I'm, I'm just going to guess that it's the real field temperature, uh, because it definitely feels at least that hot today. Uh, if I had the internet on, that's where, well, if I, you touch it, but uh, the Wi-Fi, if I had that connected, that's where that would be, but all the widgets and stuff that you can do, the, click your apps here, these are the preloaded apps that I was talking about, and with the Phoenix one that I watched, you get more apps on here. If you slide over, then you have these, okay? So, I misspoke. I guess it took a couple, uh, a start or two to refresh. So it doesn't matter Phoenix or Linkswell, just figured it out. So Google, that's Google Music, Sirius, and then the background to get the background on the you know app here. I just downloaded those yesterday and I shut the truck off, put it back on, tried it again, went to these, this apps and they weren't there. And I haven't messed with it since, but now they are there. So let me go ahead and show you, add widget. Let's put Google Music right there. Apps, Google Music. And boom, Google Music is now there. <clears throat> this is the regular radio. But that's what you can do. Let's go ahead and add another one so you can see it. Make it even, and let's do Sirius. So, that was a big question. Is Sirius gonna work with the either screen? And it works with neither screen. Doesn't matter, links well, Phoenix. Sirius XM does not work unless you download the app. If you are already a subscriber, you can download the app, hook the hotspot through your phone or whatever. If it's connected to the internet, then you can listen to Sirius, just log in, which is what I did. <clears throat> because I, of course, got one of them deals in the mail and it was a hell of a deal, so I went ahead and signed up for it. So I got Sirius for a couple months. Uh, but then the background, just download this is the one that seemed to work for me, uh, just backgrounds. And it has that little uh, logo there, backgrounds. You go to it, you download the picture, or whatever background you want from there. You click home. Now, I will be clicking always at one point. I just have yet to do that until I feel comfortable with it. Uh, just once, but to change the background, like I said, you go through the app, backgrounds, download it, then here, background and then there you go whatever backgrounds you downloaded will be there and then you just put it whatever you want and that's how it is you can get motion deck uh, you know the live wallpapers or whatever and it will be on there and it will work and all of that so I just thought that was a really neat feature uh, it works great it allows you to be able to customize these screens a little bit more to your personal preference instead of just having you know whether it's Phoenix or Linkswell, just having your regular home screen. So I really like that. Um, now, it's not gonna say Ford here, and of course it won't say Wicked F-150 here to change that. Swipe up, options, and here. Title, Wicked F-150, manufacturer Ford. You can put in the model and the year and all that, but I, I don't, I'm not worried about it, don't care. Uh, and then when you add a widget, you just put that in there. Let's go back here add well I already did that one let's do this one All right and you just go through here information 
there you go, vehicle info, title, manufacturer, and all of that. So that's, that's how you would add that. Now you tap the middle, it gives you different things. Don't know how to change that, haven't messed with it. <clears throat> all I did was put in the Ford and I know you can click through it. Uh, your compass, navigation, if you had it on, it would show here. Mile per hour, which it is accurate. Time, date, I don't need, I have it two other spots. And then of course Ford, which is what I leave it on. And you can't change the color or anything, it's the blue. Uh, I know, I wish it was the red to you know match the special edition, but you can't change it, that's what it is. Um, what else? That is it. I can't think of anything else that you guys need. Uh, navigation, radio, music, climate, Bluetooth, video, went through them all. <clears throat> Internet, settings, apps, DVR, if you have a DVR, um, dash cam or anything like that and you hook it up through here that's what that would be for and then it showed you the camera showed you this wonderful car web guru app to customize your screen phoenix or Linkswell does not matter it's the exact same thing so i hope you guys enjoyed the video um what yep i hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you have a great weekend don't forget forget to hit that like subscribe button if you hit that subscribe button hit that bell so you can continue to get more wonderful videos from Wicked F-150. Uh, see y'all later.